yeah, I, mean, I think it's a really challenging schedule. It's one um, you know I'm really proud of. Um, you know, scheduling this year uh, every year is tough. Uh, seemed like this year was maybe a little bit more challenging than usual uh, for a variety of different reasons. Um, but I think first, I think we got some really good home games that our fans are going to, going to really enjoy. Um, hopefully, being back in Kemble Arena and, and uh, being able to watch our team in person again. Um, so, um, you know, really excited about that. And then obviously, we've got some really challenging, uh, you know, non-conference road games that are going to test us uh, on a variety of different levels. So. Uh, just overall and collectively, I think it's a really good schedule. I think it's one that's going to prepare our team for the Big South. And, and uh, we know that uh, our league is, is from top to bottom is going to be really tough. And uh, so you want to build a schedule that's going to challenge you to, to compete at the highest level in your own league. And I, I think this does it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know as much about their team right now sitting in here in August, but, I, you know, Coach Kennedy and their pro, they had a good year last year. And I think he's going into a second year here, and obviously he, he knows what he's doing, so a uh, ton of respect for them. I, I've never played at UAB, um, but uh, obviously we know it's going to be going to be quite the challenge from, from the jump. Uh, so should be fun. Um, you know, just getting the opportunity to – to play again against somebody in a different color jersey is going to be fun. So, uh, but uh, be fun for them too, I'm sure. So, uh, you know, quite the challenge. But uh, you know, it should be a, again a, a game that's that's going to get us prepared for the for the Big South. Well, I think anytime you play at home in front of your own fans, especially coming off of last year when we didn't get the opportunity to do that. Uh, is huge, and I don't know who. You know, it really doesn't matter who the opponent is that night. Just the the, the chance to get to play in Kemmel and and uh, hopefully in front of of our Asheville fans will be will be huge. I mean, uh, again, try to try to approach every opponent as nameless and faceless already, and um, you know that's that's definitely one we'll be excited to get back and play in our own arena. Well, I can assure you, me being from Tennessee had no bearing on uh, on us playing Tennessee teams. It just kind of happened happened that way. Um, geographically, it makes a lot of sense. And um, you know, two years in a row, we've had really really close games with Chattanooga, and obviously at their place last year. So, uh, as part of the MTE, we're going there and playing them and Tennessee Tech uh, at, at Chattanooga, and then Chattanooga's coming here on December the. Uh, the eighth, and so a um, ton of respect for that program. Obviously, there's a there's a lot of Southern Conference flavor on our non-conference schedule as well. Um, just because, I mean, it, geographically it makes a lot of sense, but also just really good programs in in and around that league. So, um, yeah, I mean that's definitely one that we're we're pretty familiar with those guys over the course of the last two years, and and, and them playing here two years ago and us playing at Chattanooga last year. Well, ETSU and Citadel are our are, uh, are series that, that one we started with ETSU this year and um, and then with, with the Citadel, that's a return game from a couple years ago. But, um, you know, the Western game is kind of a, a game in and of itself with us, you know, being being rivals in and around this area. And it's one that I really think in the last couple of years has taken a little more motivation on, on both sides. So uh, I know our guys will be excited. Both. Last year was an overtime game. Year before was a one-point game. So, you know, our guys will be excited to go to Colowee and, and, and play. So, um, you know, we've got the the Southern Conference flavor in our schedule, but that Western Carolina game is obviously one that that's played every year and one that that means a lot to our program and our fans. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it, that one kind of goes without saying, right? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of people that support our program that are also Carolina, you know, UNC grads, and so I think there'll be a lot of, uh, you know, for for our fan base, a lot of attention on that particular game. But we'll approach it like any other game, you know, and, and uh, go down there. And again, it, you know, how many times do you get the opportunity to play in an atmosphere like that? Same for Indiana, um, you know, on December the 29th. So. Two, two opportunities for us this year in our non-conference schedule to uh, go and play Blue Blood programs that's had 
won national championships and been among the best in the country traditionally. And uh, so I think it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, you know, I think our guys will really enjoy it. And, and we'll try to make the most of, of both of those experiences, uh, just as we will every game on our schedule. Yeah, I mean, just uh, Martin's a, is a team we've played twice since I've been here, and and so uh, just again, you got to play somebody, and, and and that's a game that worked out on our schedule for them and for for uh, for Martin as well. It's, it's one of our longer trips, um, and then we actually are playing St. Andrews and Milligan, uh, so both of those both of those teams are uh, our games uh, here in, in Kimmel, and obviously I went to Milligan, graduated from there. And, uh, we played them two years ago, and, and uh, they gave us all we wanted. So um, it'll be, um, you know, playing my alma mater is is, uh, is obviously something that that uh, is a little little more added value for me, and, and something I know when I was there at Milligan, getting the opportunity to play a Division One program was really was really special. So um, you know, it's something that I've known Coach Robinson a long time. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to play your alma mater.